He's got orange. Oops, it's brown. He's got a bit of orange. I mean, I can get an orange. I think it's a orange, isn't it? I can get a orange. Oh, keys in a half, by the way. Ah, uh, why? He hasn't had any post this year. At all. No one's mm-hmm. writing to me. What? I've not had any post. This is the new thing, you say. Flash! Ah... Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I got it at a charity shop. Do do do. What me? I like your t-shirt a lot. Flash! Oh, there's various people. Ba bang ba bang. Stefan Jolovsky. Yeah. I might have a half-time orange. Um, it's Ooh, um. I might have an half-time orange. I'm at my parents' house. Whoops. Oh, um, you got your glasses up so down. What? Oh. Mummy and Daddy with their upside down jeans. Oh, Mummy. Daddy, can I come over, please? Oh, Mummy. Daddy. Oh, here we go. Why are Daddy's upside down jeans? <laughs> yeah. Where are Mummy and Daddy? Ah, oh, Mummy and Daddy have gone for a little short break to Kent, and um, I've got the run of this place for the last time. It's being sold. They've sold it. Wow. Mark Olf. 25 years, and Mark Oliver ends up sort of wiping his balls all over this place. Jesus yeah. Christ. What is it? Pig face? The, for the Kermit? What? <laughs> this piggy? This yes. Pig. Uh, well, I'm going to go for pig face the Kermit again. Pig uh, is a spinster. Pig is a spinster. <laughs> I think it's something like that. <laughs> Kermit the pig? No, pi- pig face. Pig face pig the Kermit. Fa- pig face Kermit. She <laughs> took his name in the end. No more American ladies. Ooh. Right. Well, 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 you know, you get the idea. But but definitely female, no more female Americans. If you say so, Horn. No, if you say so. Well, if you say so, yeah. Well, I'm going for pig face the Kermit, no more American women. And you mm. get the idea, so relax. Yeah, and I think how many should put, and you get the idea, so relax in brackets. <laughs> Go on, French. I sold her a yo-yo when I was 24. I sold her a yo-yo and a yo-yo once more. I yes, sold, sold her, her a yo-yo. yo-yo. She I... walked out the door with a oh. yo-yo. <laughs> Can someone please say the phrase Nazim Hamid? Nazim Hamid. Yes, I sold him a yo-yo, yo-yo. when I was 24. I, I sold him a yo-yo a... and I sold him one oh, more. more. I sold him a yo-yo. He nearly fell off the floor because he now had a yo-yo and one more. Uh, I did a cat food advert when I was 28. Me and Dawn French and it wasn't too great. It was for I Am's, which was a dry food, but they withdrew the advert because the claims were not good. Don French. So they got French and Watson to do the cat's advert. French and Watson pretended to be cats. She was the smart cat, the I Am's cat, and I was the right. pillar who still had wet food. No, I know more people the time of day in their name, I think. Name another? Um, Sam Knight. Oh, so it can be hidden... Yeah, it doesn't have to be just their name. If, if you can spell out a time of day, you know, from let- consecutive letters, then we're ready to talk. Ah, uh, what time is it? Ah, uh, night. Actually, it is orange oh, pants. When oh, it is orange pants, it. is it? Yes, it is orange pants when you think about it. I've only just remembered I've got those on, and that's a coincidence. I might as well um, take the shorts off, actually, it's very warm. Bruce Grobbler. The goalie. I sold her a yo-yo when I was 24. No more people, 90 seconds, find a still of them sort of dancing. Right, okay. I've had enough of all this nonsense. Yeah, no, fair enough. And I'm going to go for someone I think we should have said many, many moons ago. (laughs) It comes out there sometimes. Then you have to concentrate to make it go back in. I'm going to go for Emily. From Bad Puss. From Hesky. From Fruit Crisps. No, I don't know what... I know, well, I know what fruit is. Well, there's a there's a bag of crisps, which is called Emily Fruit Crisps. 
and they're fantastic. Uh, the sooner people start to believe me, the better. Why are you well, talking about this? You shouldn't one? start with there's a bag of fruit crisps. <laughs> Do you mean there's a uh, make of fruit crisps? Do you want me to show you the bag of fruit crisps? Oh, I believe it. You just explained it badly. Badly. But I don't. Are we allowed things that aren't even. <laughs> we're just having objects. They don't have any human qualities at all. <laughs> How is it? Yeah, was it nice? Well, that's an apple. That's not crisp. That's an apple. Are you saying no more of, like, the make of crisps or no more the Emily who invented these crisps? No more the Emily who invented them. No more people who usually just say their first name. Like Emily Fruit Crisps. In fact, what, name another? Paul Skulls? Paul? That's <laughs> I don't, no, no, definitely that's not. No, no, really. Locky, my doggy. What are you drinking, Horn? I'm not drinking anything. Our kitchen's been turned upside down. Well, I don't know what to say to you, lovely gentleman. I'm going for Emily, and I'm going for no more people. Maybe you have to name another if we ask you to name another. Chergar, you moron. You don't, you don't really know what his surname was, do we? A horse, I suppose. Sugar horse. Sugar horse, yeah. Or maybe it was fruit crisps. Okay, Nicholas Copernicus. I Nicholas think. Copernicus. Nicholas Copernicus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is he? Well, it's more. Um... Oh, did he look at the moon or something? Yeah, he looked at the moon. <laughs> He had a good look. Oh, I suppose. That's comfy. Yes. That's it's comfy. Leg game. <laughs> yes, leg game. Oh, mine looks like I'm having a baby or something. Nicholas Copernicus. Uh, and it's normal people who, one of their names, you, you can just name loads of other people with it, but the other one of their names, not a soul. So no more people with one out of their two names is unique, basically. So, I mean, if you ask me to name another, I'll name another. No. Nah. Mark, can you pretend you're heating your hands up on the fire on your T-shirt? <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what, so have you got socks on? Yes, I have. Take them off, would you, and dry them on the fire by draping them over your shoulders? Certainly can do. They're bonds, of course, like my pants. <sighs> Oh, there we go. Ah, Not too close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nearly caught it on fire there. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Oh. And do you mind just, licking, do you mind just licking, licking your knee now? Yeah, of course I don't mind. Oh, it's perishing out. No, pretend it's an ice cream. Oh, OK, yeah. So then you have to lick all the way around, don't you, so you stop it from uh, melting. <laughs> I, I All right. The big bad wolf. I'll just have a bit more of my ice cream, I suppose. I wish I had an ice cream. Hang on. Anyway, you have a go at that, Tim. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, hang on. How do I do that? Uh, uh, yeah, I'll do. Noble people who almost certainly have more hair than me. And is this hair all over? It wouldn't be all over. I doubt even a wolf would be daft enough to have hair on his boy. You know, you think a wolf penis is hairless. If he's got any sense. Does a wolf have hairy dick? <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Does a wolf have to shave his boy? Ooh. Well, I, yeah, I am saying all over, Martin. Right, well, I'm going to go for the oldest person in the world. Well, not the oldest, but you get the idea. Pig one. From the, little, the three little pigs? Yeah, but pig one, you know. So far, you've played pig one and the name off a packet of crisps. <laughs> it's the name this little pig the smallest pig wasn't it? and then the middlest pig and then the biggest pig or something pig one well are you saying his name is pig one don't play dumb with me you can see that it, it, it's perfectly reasonable to suggest they're called pig one pig two pig three and big big bad big bad wolf the big bad wolf the big bad wolf you're right <laughs> but if you want I can choose someone different no it's if you want I do want I don't want you to do someone different. I want you to do that one, and then I'll challenge. I do want me to do someone different. Don't do Pig 2. I want me to do Sarah Brown. Is that Gordon Brown's wife? Yeah. I believe so. Oh. Well, I'm not going to do it. Just to let you know, my parents have got a thing on their fridge, like kitchen conversions, but it's called equivalents. I call it the same amounts. Wilfred Johnson. Ah, your friend. Maybe. No more people. Who, who, who rose to fame and great acclaim and made their name 
after 20, 20, no, 20, 20, 10. 20, 20, 10. <laughs> 20 pounds now, what shall I buy? I'll buy some juice and maybe a pie. Yes, 20 pounds now, what shall I buy? I'll buy something that lives in a sty, a pig. 20 pounds, what will I buy? I'll buy a thing that I'll put in my eye. Yeah. <laughs> a pig. A pig, yeah. Also, what about sun cream? Yeah, the, I've, I've, the, I've got a request, it, Mark, and you won't like the, it. Oh, not in the old mouth, is it? No, it's just stand up and then pull the pants forward a bit and spray it down the pants a couple of times. I say. It will protect it from the sunshine. The last thing we want is a burnt boy. The last thing we want is a burnt boy. And the second thing that we don't want is the same again, a burnt boy. Boy. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> We're definitely going to see it here, Hall. <laughs> I mean, what, can you imagine, everyone, have I got news for you? Here's <laughs> lot. Oh, in it goes. Are you still spraying? Yeah. <laughs> are you, are you going to fill it right up? Yeah. It's all over. But it might be a bit eureka. If you put too much cream in, the old boy might come out the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, in my, there, and it's covered my, in uh, <laughs> sauce. Can you pop both cheeks at once? No? No, because you need one... Morph. Ah. Yeah, it's to create the uh, vacuum, isn't it? Uh, morph. No more. No morph people um, without a bank account. To our knowledge. I'll have a challenge on. I think we had no more people you refer to them by their first name. But morph doesn't have any other names, I don't think. Well, you refer to them by his first name. But I suppose you did say em You just did say Emily, but then you. You followed it up as Emily Fruit Crisps. Oh, I never did. I just know her as Emily. Horn was saying his Fruit Crisp stuff. I sort of think you're right, that if you only have one name, can you have a first name? I think you do, because you've got that name as your first name. I think first implies there's more than one or something. Yeah, that's my, that was why, because I did think of this category and I thought this. But he hasn't got a surname, has he? Well, you're going to do the work in about an hour. You're, you're, you're going to be funny in about an hour. Looking forward to that. What a stupid fucking thing to do in your life. Check whether Morph's got a surname. <laughs> Morph doesn't have any surname, you're joking. He's Morph. What does he do? Oh, why am you... I doing this? I don't know. Morph, the protagonist with terracotta skin. He is a clay figure who can transform into many things. All right, well, I'll do another challenge then. Because it's fun when you're in, you're in, aren't you? Well, yeah, but... I think fun is still of Morph dancing. Yeah, I thought this might happen. But I'm going to... I think that a still of someone dancing is really hard to prove. Basically. Yeah, I think you're probably right. One of the reasons why I'm doing so many challenges on you is I don't can't remember what your category was on Morph. Yeah, so you're hoping to uh, just sort of get it over with here. Yeah, I've no idea what it was. Yeah. And that's your time up. He's good at this bit. It's really annoying, this bit, isn't it, Mark? The first one I've found is this one. Yeah, and dancing, I reckon. That's a hint of dancing. What does it say in the description? Yeah. Morph and Chaz does a dance by Slitherbop on DeviantArt. This is a still of Morph dancing. That's a, sort of quite a, a bit like pointing at his tie, really. <laughs> I can take you through to the GIF. I think, no, I've probably got to go on that. That is, that's him dancing. Sorry, Watto, would you mind dancing with Morph? No, I would not. Hang on. Uh, hang on. Wait, wait a second. Wait, yeah. <laughs> Is it worth me getting the same gif up? Let's just mark but, a few uh, more. Otto, you're at, your, you're at your, your parents' house. He must have got a tie a bit like that that you can and get. Yeah, I can look, I'll, I'll yeah. have a look for a tie. I'll have a look for a tie. I'll, I'll go in my parents' bedroom. Not bad, I think. All right. This is really not a leading question, but are you going to go tops off or not? He's not wearing a lot on his bottom half. It'd be great if you get the routine down, Pat. Uh, uh, Mark. Well, Mark. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, this is good. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's good. 
<laughs> and then should we get? It'd be nice to have a still, still of everybody dancing. Yeah, it would be. All right. Are you walking them up? Oh yeah, but I better not physically walk because my absolute balls are out, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> my parents uh, up on them. Uh, due back tomorrow, but I suppose it's this an unlikely scenario where they've come back early from Kent and I'm here with oh, a yeah. tie on, but no other clothes on, and I'm dancing no more. Uh, also, yeah. by the time someone watches this, someone else will be living in that kitchen. Yeah, that's a weird <laughs> thought, isn't it? And maybe they're watching no more jockeys and think, fucking hell. <laughs> I would love you to win this key. Box clever key. If you take this to 553, five, you've done me a big, um, you've done me a solid there. I've just realised that if I have to do the work as well, my phone's over there, so it's it's a little bit of careful. Well, that might be a nice yeah. moment for all concerned. Let's go with Thomas Moore. Is he the uh, round the round the garden like a teddy bear? That's not a person. You're thinking of you thinking of the captain that did the old um, back and forth for charity. Uh, no more people with with um, with a pair of eyes in the name, as in two O's next to the, next to each other, anywhere in the name, but two eyes next to each other. But I think Thomas More, the historical figure, is maybe just spelt more like like more. Oh well, no more people with a food in their name. In this case, a s'more. That's a type of food, isn't it? It's not like a like haddock or something, is it? It's not a famous one. But the name's got to be across. The food's got to be across the two names. Why has it said s'more? Can you put them on the fire? A s'more is a campfire treat popular in the United States and Canada. I didn't know that. That's what they call it when you put a marshmallow between two friends. So it's <laughs> got to be across the two names. You can make a little something you can eat. Okay, you're hard as fuck. No small people. Oh, yeah. No small jockeys. Yeah, no small jockeys. Did you name another, actually, Horn? No, I'm, I'm hoping you won't ask me that. Oh, are you? Right. Name another then. Oh. I forget. Yeah, I forget you can hear me. Oh, is there someone called Clam Boy? Yep, Clam Boy, yep. And then you get Lamb, L-A-M-B. Yep, yep, absolutely fine, Clam Boy. Equivalence coming up. Fantastic. Okay, challenge. Very, very popular first name. Very, very rare second name. We're we'll to be with no one with that name. Well, who else is called Moore? M-O-R-E. Well, can we just Google it? No, <laughs> you need to tell me. No, his, his category was absolutely no one with that surname. No, obviously it's not no one because there's always someone. No one, other famous people who've got the same name. What else you can name, sort of thing? What was the person? Nicholas Copernicus. 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 I can't name Copernicus, but I can't name a more. Well, what about Thomas More's family? Well, they could name him. Well, I mean, they're also called More. Well, who are they? A Angie yeah. More. What about the Copernicus's family? I got him here, Watto. No, yeah. I reckon there's about a million Moors out there. Simple question, mate. Name one. Okay, I reckon there's someone called Paul Moore. Famous in which and film? I, reckon, I don't think they had to be famous. <sighs> I should have made oh. the case. Have a, have a look up Paul Moore and you'll see he exists. There was a Paul Moore who was an American journalist, critic, essayist and Christian apologist. Yeah. But also, I reckon but, we know someone called Moore as well. He's right, there will also be those more Copernicuses, so it's not as if the... Like, no name is actually unique, is it? It's, it's more... No, can you but name I have it? named Paul Moore, the American journalist. Well, no, I don't think you named the, the Paul Moore, the American journalist. You named Paul Moore, the... I couldn't have a... You know, I have no fucking idea who he is. For me, the category never mentioned other famous people. I think it should mean what key is, is making it mean, really, which is you can't name another specific... Well, I've named person. Paul Moore, the American journalist. Yeah, it's difficult. You, you're you're sort of <laughs> wiggling around like a funny... Oh, I said, what, Horn? If man. I'm you, I'm not enjoying looking at the old below the lines next week. Must no, say. I reckon I'm, reckon I'm all right on this one. What I don't have is that hot flush of shame that you sometimes get. Well, you bloody should have. Well, what about Paul Moore? Well, what the American I think is... essayist and Christian. I'm very pleased that we found Paul Moore. So I take it that that category is now defunct. You know, you can just sort of say Robinson Crusoe and just get on with it. Right. If you can find somebody else called Crusoe. But luckily there's someone called Paul Moore, who's an American journalist. Yeah. Well, that, that, is, that is one of the greatest shames. I think it might be time for me to travel the seven seas. Be honest with myself. Look in the mirror. And trouble my dearest friend, Mert Aksak. No, well, I don't think it'd be Mert. Wow. I mean, I could give him an absolute lure, but then maybe Mert is the lure. Naked, except for a tie. Yes, naked. naked. Except my favourite guy, naked. naked. Oh, naked, naked old Mark. Okay, Dick Serpent. 
No more olden days. How far back are we going? Across that bridge, but you know, you get the idea. 60s? 60s, all right? That'll do us. Yeah, when did the olden days start? And when were they? Pre telly. I might have to go for Mert Akzak. But it's sort of a lure, because there's one thing I was going to go on. Well, there are two things I was going to go on. Oof. No, actually, there's three things I'd probably challenge there's him on. three things. There's enough. Yeah, I don't think I will go for my act. Like, and no. I'm quite curious now. And suddenly, the key senses an advantage. Equivalents. 250 millilitres. How many fluid ounces? Don't know. Horn? Don't know. The game ends nil-nil. Equivalents or... Uh, well, olden days. You're saying the 60s is olden days. Well, it's not it's very new in days. I'm assuming we just said the same thing. Yeah, we did. We both said it's not very new in days. And I have got absolutely no clothes on, apart from a tie. <laughs> well, I'm obviously tempted by Ken Hom. No, I've been, been tempted by Captain Rick from Ricicles. Well, in that case, I'm quite tempted to go for Captain Rick. From Ricicles. <laughs> from Ricicles. There he is, look, on the right. Key on Key's own chest. One of the great collectives, Key's own yeah. chest. Meeting these guys means Key was blessed. Here are those orange pants again. Yes, here are those orange pants again. Yeah, 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 yeah. here are those orange pants again. On your head, man! <laughs> I think it's Phil Edmonds. Lanky cricketer from the 80s yeah. and 90s. And we'll have no more ball players. What was the category? If I do that, can I go for a wee? Yeah. Yeah. There was no more ball players. Was he bald? No, not bald. I've got one, I've got one something of something on my something. Uh. Sorry, just a, a moment to just think with his knickers on his head. Um, uh, you've got one... Something. Challenge. Some, on my something. One idea. One, no. You've got one... It's actually with your knickers on your head, you do feel a bit less sharp, I think, a bit more chilled out. One... Millimetre. Um, one, you've got one millimetre. Mm -hmm. Of... Uh, silk. Sweat. On my... Uh, uh, boy. Leg. Right, okay. Okay. Good, good, good format, that. I enjoy, I enjoy one something of something with something. <laughs> I've got three something of yeah. something on the something. You've got three something of something on the something? Yeah. You've got three packets of crisps on the side? Pretty much. I've got three types of credit card on the table. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go for challenge. Image of Phil Edmonds dancing. Well, I don't mind that at all. Nor do I, but I do mind at all the fact that I have to get my phone now, and it is... I won't start the clock till you uh, show me the clock. <laughs> all right, so... We'll just, uh... All right. We'll get the Ang Angle... Oh, I wish I could angle his laptop for him. <laughs> Look at his head. <laughs> I think it's just get there quickly and see who salutes. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I don't know. No, I think it's, 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 uh, <laughs> it's turn around the old lap. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Yeah, I didn't mind that. Have you found that your, was, have you found your phone yet? That was world class. I've got my phone yet. I think it's fine. It's whether he's celebrating after a wicket and that will look like a dance. You don't celebrate by dancing. Tell that to, uh, Sadio Mane. But my my immediate impression is Phil Edmonds wasn't the dancing type. I wouldn't mind his head poking through one of the leg holes a bit later. A bit later or straight away? Well, I don't mean to slow you down too much because you've only got five seconds. <laughs> so I think the horn survives that challenge because there is absolutely no evidence of the cricket of Phil Edmonds dancing on it. I'll go Neil Foster. I mean, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I feel like probably he's trying to communicate that you shouldn't go for Neil Foster. I'm not doing anything. I'm a guy with his pants <laughs> around his neck. Will he challenge it? Well, I don't know who Neil Foster is. 
same sort of thing, really. Is in the same team as Edmonds. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I've got a good one here. No more people whose surname is involved in another famous person's double-barreled business. Who? Who? Foster Wallace. Oh, Dave Foster Wallace. Who's Dave Foster Wallace? He's a tragic American author. He wrote, most famously, Infinite Jest. And then he uh, died by his own hand. Horn says, challenge, no more ball players. Well, um, the, the get-out is if Key thought I was saying bald over and over. What, bald? Did you think I was saying no more bald players? Well, yeah, that's why I was saying Foster. Is it ball players? Oh, that's why he was doing that face when you kept saying Neil Foster for ages. Oh, right. It's not sportsmanlike to actually do too much with your face, but I couldn't do any less. <laughs> well, I couldn't believe it either, because I even told him the category again. Look, can I just please say a different a different player that, that's got less air or something? Yeah, I don't say player. OK, look, it's simple. Right. It's simple, it's predictable, and that's what I expect. Yes, it's simple, it's predictable, and that's what we respect. But it's simple and predictable, and that's what I reject. Yes, it's simple and predictable. What will you project? Well, it's simple, it's predictable. I'm saying Steve Ovet. Ah. No! Brilliant! Whoops. Well, I don't know what the challenge was on that one. Did you know what the challenge was, Watto? I think that Key could have got out of it, put it that way. Well, I'm going to go for Nick Leeson. I yeah. remember going out on challenging a picture of him before. Yeah, we've had Leeson before. I'll go David Bedford. Who's David Bedford? Runner. All right. They say that the 118 118 guys is uh, based on him. Who's they? Katie Wicks and Satan. <laughs> okay, so it's it's David Hemery. No. Hey. One second. What happened there? Dave Hill, the javelin thrower. Mick Hill. Mick Hill. <laughs> Mick Hill. We're we going for Mick Hill. Mick how Hill. I, how am I out after all this? One? Okay, Mick Hill. No more Europeans. The second best javelin thrower when you suggest he Backley. Well, oh, we'll have a look for him dancing, won't we? Mick Hill is still chasing Gavin Lovegrove. Who's in I don't look at videos. Look at his Facebook page and his Twitter profile. Mick Hill Instagram. You know, I'm not doing it horn out of any. You'd like me to come downtown with the two of you, though, wouldn't you? Wonder? Of course I would. But there's absolutely bugger all. I'm, in, I'm interested in T.S. Eliot, but I can't remember anything about them. Tell me some stuff about them, Mark. T.S. Eliot was an Anglo-American poet. Alex. Oh, that doesn't help. Most famous for uh, the Four Quartets, The Wasteland, and of course, Old Possum's Book of Cats, which became um, musical cats, but a lot of other stuff as well. He's a prolific poet. And I'm not. Maybe for a bit of a laugh, a new player. Is he called Colin Powell? Colin. Yeah, that one. It's sort of too hot, really to have your pants on your head in that way. All right, we'll go with Colin, Colin, Colin Powell. Well, are you going to challenge on that one? Yeah. It's difficult, isn't it? No. Lots of people you don't have now. This is what happens towards the end of the old game, and it's why it's too hard. So why do I find mm. it so You tell me. I will tell you if, if I get a chance. I'm right no. here, baby. Well, I might go back to T.S. Eliot. No more people older than me. Now, where does that leave key? Well, I, I, I've, got, I've got a challenge. Well, then we're done. Well, I mm. think I could say, challenge T.S. Eliot on no more olden days. Is that what we're counting as olden days? He was alive in the 70s, wasn't he? I think Eliot probably dies around the, 50s, the 80s? 60s. 60s, we said, was definitely olden days. When did he die? 60s. He dies right on the 4th of January 1965. <laughs> Well, I have to walk because it's Key's category, but I don't think that's an olden days person. Well, I think T.S. Eliot is olden days. Anyone would say that. It's like Jane Austen. No, well, no, it's not because he's been on telly. Well, no, I, I, I will absolutely walk. Do you know when his heyday was, T.S. Eliot? Yeah, 1920. Yeah, yeah the 20s, the 30s. like. That's, that's 100 years ago was his heyday. I thought it was like olden, olden days. I think in the olden days, I said the 60, 1966 is the olden days. Yeah, I misheard that, but I thought 60s was not the olden days. Yeah, because you were talking about how people had tellies in those days. It is difficult. I thought someone like Elvis would be not the old, olden days. Whereas somebody like um, Mary, Queen of Scots, would be the, old, the olden days. Like Dick Turpin. Olden days. But Key, but, you're but back Key, in it. I think you'd find a picture of T.S. Eliot dancing. He's from, he's from sort of round about now, isn't he? 
Well, yeah, because he's, he's after cameras. This is him old, and you think that's the new days. <laughs> it, looks like a, it, it looks like a reptile. I think we've got different opinions of olden days. I'll tell you what we should do, is look up the definition of olden days. Look up the definition of whether or not there's been a colour photo of T.S. Eliot. I mean, look at some of these things. No, but there's no, been a photo of him. That's the... Look at that. Look at his parting horn. <laughs> if you'd show me a photo of him playing a Sega Mega Drive, he might have been in business. That's what I think olden days is. <laughs> is that him? <laughs> That's Dick Turpin. That's All right. Turpin. What was wrong with Mert Akzak? I thought he might have a dance. But I yeah. thought he hadn't become famous till after 2010. Oh, God, that category is long. Bedford? What was wrong with Bedford? No one else is called Bedford. Yeah. I had a good one with that one. Bedtime. Oh, right. Yeah. Time of day. But that's why I didn't say Steve Avet, because of Eve. I thank you both, but and I won the game, and one of us is to blame for not having his knickers on his boy. I have absolutely no clothes on, save for a tie. <laughs> well played, everybody. Good night, guys. I'm naked. It's time for the 14th game soon. <laughs>